Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So here's a quick video just to show you how you can use a VPN with your Amazon Prime if it's not working. So the first thing you want to do is download and install one of these VPNs. You'll find links below if you want to save a little bit more money. And if you want to learn more about them, you'll also find the reviews. But basically, download and install any of these VPNs and connect to an American server if you're trying to access American Prime Video. In this case, I'm abroad. I'm not in the States. So I'm trying to get access to the American library here. So what I'll do is, again, go to locations using any of these VPNs and connect to the American server. I'm already connected to it because if I go to my IP finder here, you'll notice that it'll say I'm in the States, not because I'm physically there, but because I'm virtually there through the ExpressVPN server. So once you're done with that, you want to go to account and then go to devices here. This is on your Amazon account. And from there, go to preferences. And here you'll be able to change your region. You're going to click on change and just put your American address here with a valid American phone number and click update and save it. And that's basically it. You will most likely not need to clear any cached images or files or cookies, but just in case you're not sure how to do that, go to settings from there, go to privacy and security, clear browsing data, and you probably just want to select all time and delete all the cookies and cached images and files. You don't want to delete the browsing history or download history or anything like that. Just these two will do just fine but you probably don't need to do that. This is just in case it didn't work. But again, here's how to do it. Just clear the cookies and cache and click delete data and you'll be good to go from there. Knowing that you've already connected to the VPN and you've changed your region from your Amazon account, you can now go to Amazon and it will not show you this notification again because this notification mainly shows when you're outside uh, the United States and you're not able to access some of the shows that you're used to accessing. So you just get this notification telling you that you're outside the States. And once you've got everything set up, you'll be able to access Amazon Prime as if you're in the States yourself. So that is basically it for this video. Now, as far as which one of these VPNs to go for, you can go with any of them and they'll work great, whether you're trying to access Amazon or Hulu or Netflix or anything else. By the way, with all the other streaming services, you don't have to do any of the stuff that I just showed you. All you have to do is connect to the right server and just go refresh the page and you'll be good to go from there. It's not as complicated. Uh, so that'll be it for this video. Hopefully it helped you guys out. If you guys are interested again in any of these VPNs, You'll find links to discounts and full reviews in the description down below. And if you do end up getting any of these VPNs, you want to be careful what you go for, because a lot of people end up spending more money on the monthly plan, thinking they're not going to need the VPN for longer than a month, but they end up using it for more than a month and it keeps resubscribing to this very expensive rate. So unless you know you're not going to need the VPN for more than a month, then go for something that saves you a little bit more money like the six month plan or the 12 month plan. And this is all also applicable to Surfshark and NordVPN, not just Express. And there's always a 30 day money back guarantee in case you change your mind. But for a quick recommendation, if you're not really sure, the best of the best will be Express. It's the most reliable overall. The most well-rounded option will be NordVPN, especially if you're looking for the fastest download and upload speeds. And Surfshark will allow you to share it around with as many friends and family members as you would like, since it lets you connect an unlimited number of connections. Again, for more info, you'll find full reviews below and also the discounts if you'd like to save money on your subscription. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.